Hello, I'm Mziba coming back to you with another video on what I do to keep healthy. So yes, today we're going to talk about Miss Mary. <laughs> now, I don't know if you know what Miss Mary is, but lately I noticed the buzz word has been Yoni Steams. So yes, Miss Mary and Yoni are two equivalent things. So we're going to talk today about how to maintain or to get a healthy vagina all right now you know a lot of persons are purchasing or are out there purchasing a lot of expensive things and not everybody can afford it so what i want to do is to just share with you some reasonable things even free that you can use to keep miss mary happy and healthy yeah all right so we'll be exploring four four different herbs or four different plants whatever you want to call them and we're going to talk a little bit about the properties of those plants and their benefits and how do we do a yoni steam how often we do a yoni steam so i'm hoping to cover all of that in the video all right so i hope i don't forget anything because i'm just winging it Alright, so the first of the four is the neem plant, number two, the rosemary plant, number three, the moringa plant, and number four, the vervine plant. Alright, so I have, this is the neem plant. Those who live in the Caribbean or the tropics are familiar with this or may be familiar with this plant. Yes is it has a very potent smell so um not everybody can take the smell of the neem plant yes yeah, so not everybody can deal with this the scent of the neem plant because trust me it's strong and when you boil this it has a kind of meat nah, i don't know if it's fragrance but it have a kind of meat smell and it kind of throw me off sometimes right and the next plant is the moringa plant we're hearing a lot about this moringa plant you can see the tree behind me i use this for everything i powder it i eat it put it on my food i drink it put it in my smoothies just about everything because they they're taught in this as the miracle tree so you definitely want to get some of this on your skin and in your body now the vervine i will show you clips of the vervine and clips of the rosemary somewhere in the video so let's talk about the properties the properties of the neem plant <gasps> this smell all right so the properties of the neem plant it is it has antibacterial antifungal and antiviral properties those are three main properties it has there are others but um yeah for the purpose of this video i'm just going to mention those three right and you want to get something antibacterial and something an, um, antiviral and antifungal because you know a lot of women um, have problems with yeast infections and other little bacterial infections and so what this is gonna do is that's gonna this is just gonna help you with ridding that kind of problem now the moringa plant this is loaded with nutrients a lot of nutrients and as I said before you just need this on your skin because of the nutrients that it has and remember they said that whatever we put on the skin the skin will absorb it so you basically need the moringa for that purpose now vervine vervine also has some antibacterial and antifungal properties and the thing with vervine as well is that it actually helps with urinary tract infections so consuming it yeah you're gonna help with, with that problem if you are suffering from that right and uh, um with the rosemary the rosemary now that just adds some smell some scent some fragrance to to cover all of this overpowering smell right so yeah the rosemary what that is gonna do it's going to help you with circulation 
because as you know um the rosemary or you might not know but the rosemary plant is good for circulation so if you're having circulation issues or even if you don't have any but you just want to keep your circulation going in your vagina area then yes you're going to need to have some rosemary and as i said the plus with the rosemary is that it's going to make the smell so good by the time you're finished boiling it so remember that there are two of these that will help with yeast infection the vervine and the neem plant right see there just showing you again the neem plant now how do you prepare your bath or your steam for miss mary to keep her healthy and smelling and can I mention also giving her our boost in that elasticity? Yeah, so that Miss Mary can yeah, stay tight and proper. Yes, yeah, so how do you prepare your bath? Now, what you want to do is some persons will go ahead and dry these, but you can use them in a the fresh state because you're not drinking them. Remember, you're just using them as a steam. So you want to ensure that you're getting all of the, the nutrients out of this so you can use them in the not just the first state as they are or you can allow them to dry for about three days or so right you can allow them to dry for about three days or so so that you get um if you if you don't if you don't feel comfortable using them as fresh leaves so you're gonna get this um let me show you the amount you want to use because this is a lot this is like about um, six times you can steam out of this. So, this is the portion. Either this amount of leaves or if you want to go by the stalk, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine small stalks, right? The Moringa, this is good. And especially if you're going to dry them. It going come down very very small so this portion is good if you're going to be um, drying them or using them freshly then the the for the vervine you want to use about two sprigs of the vervine two sprigs that would give you about 12 leaves or so and for the rosemary those are the small leaves so they will give that you can use about three sprigs of that and you can <coughs> Right, you can use about three sprigs of that. All right, so some things that you're going to need, right? You're going to need your pan, your steam pan, right? I use like one of those buckets. I got a brand new one, so I just use one of those. Um, so you can use your steam pan, but you need something sturdy so that it won't break away when you're sitting on it. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> yeah, you're going to need your steam pan. And then what you're going to do now, you're going to put on, say, um, a liter of water. You're going to drop these in there, right? Whether you're going to do it dry or fresh, you're going to drop these in there and you're going to allow it to boil until it starts boiling rapidly, right? Then you remove it, you turn off the flame and you allow it to cool down for about for a couple of seconds. And then you're going to transfer your concoction into your steam pan now you're going to have to sit over that as warm or as hot as you can bear it because what you want to do is to get the steam penetrating the yoni area or penetrating miss mary so that you can have this um some circulation going right and you so so what will start to happen is that you're going to start sweating as well because the steam and so on is going to allow you to sweat now when you um when the water gets a bit cool right what you can actually do when the water gets a bit cool gets a bit cool is that you can use it to wash the area yeah no harm in that because these are things that you can drink so you can actually use them on your body and then i'm just gonna give away my little secret right oh no no tell nobody so i'm telling you you know you're going to add a little salt to the water because we know that salt kills bacteria and most if not all viruses okay now we want to talk about how often do you steam miss mary you steam 
every single month after your period right because sometimes what happens is that we don't get a proper flow and especially at the end we want to ensure that all the um, particles or the leftovers from our periods we actually get it out and the circulation will help that the warmth will help that the steam will help to just purge purge us right and get us to remove all of the the um the what you call it now whatever is left back it will just remove it right and in so doing we're keeping healthy we're keeping elastic and we're keeping miss mary well yeah so i mean you don't have to go break the bank to go do no yoni steam and a matter of fact you could even go and venture into your own business right with this kind of thing because especially for those who live in the caribbean you find these trees all over the place the moringa the neem maybe not so much the vervine and the rosemary but you could invest in planting them in your yard if you have enough space and you can go into business with these these are very good i use them i see the benefits right um i don't know if you might get the same benefit if you use them but i know i see benefits from using these plants less trips to the doctor less problems and you're you just feel much better after a monthly stay so i decided right that for my videos i'm going to add a little jamaican beef up to it and so i started the video by introducing miss mary now that's just one of the names that jamaican have for our feathered friend or that's just one of the names that Jamaicans have for um, their vagina, right? So I'm going to share some other names with you that Jamaicans use. Yes, yeah, so apart from Miss Mary, the Jamaican people them call them vagina porky. <laughs> pum pum. <laughs> Chocho. Sal. Selfish, all kind of name. Chocho, did I say that already? <laughs> Jamaican people are easy, but anyway, that's us for you. Uh, thank you for. I'd like to just thank you for stopping by and for watching this video. I hope that I was able to pass on some information and that you'll be able to use it. You'll find it useful. And that you'll be um, introducing it, if you haven't started already, into your monthly routine, yeah? Um, please share with other females. Let's show and share the love, yeah? And do come back. I will have other videos. Um, my videos are basically geared towards healthy and natural living. So I'll have videos on my hair, my hair journey, um, just body care and so on. Please like, subscribe, and as I ask, kindly to share the video. Thank you. See you next time.